Welcome back to my uh, Building the Server series. Um, well, I'm going to start unboxing the various products that I've selected. First of all, we'll start with this Corsair 800D Obsidian case, which, as you can see, the size of the box is absolutely enormous. Um, so I'm just going to cut through the cellar tape. I do like doing this thing. It's like, it's like Christmas, isn't it, when you, when you get these things delivered? Okay, now, clearly you can't see inside here, but just so you know, there's, um, we've got some packing material at the very top. Um, great big sheet of polystyrene, which I'll just put there. And then there's the actual case itself, which I'm going to attempt to lift. In fact, if I move this out of the way, I'll lift this out of the box. With a bit of luck. There's one problem with obviously the obsidian case, and that is because it's so square and smooth on all sides. There we go. Ah. Right. So, just to give you an in insight, it's obviously got this plastic cover on the outside, which has just been loosely dropped over it, so it can be easily lifted up. There we go. Right, let's turn that around so you can see. At the very front, we've got um, some plastic cover over the door, which can be easily peeled off, like so. That's lovely. We've also got um, a sheet of film, plastic film, over the very front of the case itself, protecting all the dry bays. This is a polished aluminium front. Um, I was told by a, a YouTube review uh, that you have to be a little bit careful about taking this off because um, there's a, a risk that the Corsair logo could actually come off with it. Um, so that's something to bear in mind. So as I get down towards the bottom, I'm going to be a little bit careful in the way I get it removed. Here we go. Just be a little bit careful around here now. Fingers behind this plastic. Right. Here we go now. So. Gently peel that back. So far, so good. Yeah, all right. I didn't see a risk, but, um, but because they were just told about it by somebody else, um, I thought rather than take any chances, I would just um, be a bit careful. Right. So, I think that's basically the majority of that. The rest of it is going to be removed when I remove the front, the front bezel, uh, which I'll need to have to do at some point, um, no doubt. But that gives you an idea at least, doesn't it? Of the, Coming around on this side, you can see there is um, plastic film protecting the, the window as well. That was very easy to take off. Um, let's have a look inside the case now. Anybody who's seen the reviews on this case will know it's just a push button on the back and this thing just the door just hinges forward, <clears throat> and then you just raise it. 
looks to me as if this window has also got some plastic film on the inside, which I can remove now. There we go. Okay. I'll just put that somewhere safe so it doesn't get damaged. Right. In here we've got some ties, which are <clears throat> holding the box of goodies in place. I'll just undo those. <clears throat> right. There's a little leaflet here saying stop. Telling me not to return the product to the store. <clears throat> I'm assuming in case this is a problem, they don't want to. There's no after sales service for the store. Of course, they're offered to do it, no doubt, online. Um, and there is a 1 800 number here <clears throat> to get in touch with Corsair, which is all well and good if you're living in the US, but if you're living in the uh, anywhere else in the world, you can't dial 1 800 numbers. So, um, seems a bit pointless, but there we go. Um, the actual instruction, oh, not the instructions, it's a quick start guide. I did actually look at the manual online. Uh, it doesn't appear to be a manual in here, but there's quite a comprehensive manual on the Corsair website, which I did um, download and look at and read. Um, in fact, for the whole of this service selection process, I've been um, looking at all the products closely on the manufacturer's websites and reading up as much information I can to make sure they all work together. Um, this one's just basically got a, um, an expanded, exploded diagram of the case itself with all the individual parts listed. Um, and then in this little box, no doubt I'm going to find some parts. Okay, there's some cables there. I recognize the one from the Corsair website. It's to link all the hot swap drives together at the back of the case. Uh, and there's a few other cables as well. Um, I'm as excited as you are, I suppose, to see, oh, here we are. We've got some SATA cables. I've got um, one, two, three, four SATA cables. Um, they've all got a right-angled connection at the one end and uh, a straightforward connection at the other. So all four of them are like that, which does make it very neat when you're trying to put um, cables together. This, oh, what else? Oh, we've also got some other connectors. This one looks like an 8-pin connector, 8-pin extension lead. I'm sorry, it's an 8-pin extension lead. Um, and also an 8 to 4-pin extender as well. So you've got an 8-pin extension lead, male at one end, female at the other, and then this is a 4-pin extending lead coming off the 8-pin. Um, let's see what this is. <clears throat> Looks like some sort of rubber fan grommet. Let's have a look. Yes, that's um, definitely a, a seal for a, for a fan. I'm getting a 1200 fan. Yeah, it's, a, it's for a 1200 fan. Sorry, what am I saying? A 120 fan, not a 1200, 120 millimeter fan. Um, these look to be the plastic rails for attaching the hard drives, or may yes, the hard drives. These this would be the hard drives that go in the bottom section of the case. The hot swappables already have their trays built in, and it's just a matter of screwing those, and the top five racks have got quick release uh, connectors already attached to the cage. So these are for the 
for those bottom two rounds. Finally, in this last bag, there looks to be, if I can open it, some plastic tie wraps for take cable ties. Uh, one, two, three, four, eight of them. They look to be around about three inches long. And then there's a bag of screws. They look to be fan screws, interestingly. Well, they could be... No, sorry, I'm mistaken. I'm not too sure what screws those are, actually. We'll find out in due course. These are motherboard um, screws. You get there for the motherboards, for raising them off the off the back plate. And those are some more, these are bolts. Again, I haven't a clue what they're for. No doubt that will be explained to me in due course. And I recognize these. Yes, these are all the screws for your hard drives and for your motherboard as well. That's what those are. <clears throat> hard drive, DVD drives, screws. And that's about it. So I hope you've um, found that insight. I, I must do. I did that because I haven't seen a, a review on unboxing a uh, a case yet, uh, an 800D case. So I thought it would be just useful for um, for you to know exactly what you get the moment you unbox it after you've had it delivered. Speak to you soon.